Hey guys, Face Off here, and today we shall be playing. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. The second sequel to New Super Mario Bros. on the DS. As always, you have to hold the Wii Rolls sideways in order to play. And here's your title screen. So, New Super Mario Bros. Wii is, like I said, a second sequel to the New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And in this game, you can play as Mario, Luigi, and two toads. And I guess the game is going to tell us the plot for this story. Okay, so today is Princess Peach's birthday, and... Ooh, what's this? A cake? But no, this is actually a cake to kidnap the princess. As told by the Koopalings. Well, actually, actions speak louder than words, so I guess it's action by the Koopalings? Anyways, Mario, Luigi, and crew go to rescue Princess Peach, and as they're gone, these two toads decide to put Peach's presents inside the cannon and shoot them out and burst into multiple new items for the Mario Brothers to use. And so, Mario and crew go to save the day as usual. And so, you might ask, what's in this game? So, what I'll be doing is basically telling you how to play, uh, what things do. And so, yeah, uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you notice when you go to the select file screen is that you have three slots. And as you can see, I haven't got started because this is a Wii U console and the Wii U save files are different from the Wii's. So, I gotta start a brand new one, the Wii, unfortunately. And so, if you actually played the game, or if you have a file... You can press minus to erase that file, or just press plus to copy. But of course, if I press it right now, it's not going to do anything, because I haven't created a file. And so other than the file select screen, you got Free For All and Coin Battle. So Free For All uh, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a Free For All, and it's kind of like a battlefield, kind of. And coin battle is where you uh, battle with your friends to see who can get the most coins. You can't do this without having uh, more than one person around. Or one more than one Wii remote. You have to have two or more Wii remotes in order to do that. Uh, no more than four, however. When you go to select a file, uh, it'll ask you select the number of players. You can play by yourself, with a friend, or friends, if you have two of them, or three of them. But anyway, but anyways, we're gonna play. We're gonna pick the uh, one, but we're gonna pick uh, one player. But if you do have friends, um. The first player cannot does not have the choice to pick whatever character they want. You will always be Mario when you play uh, as the first player. Though the rest of the players can play as whoever they want. Which is kind of unfair. I actually want to play as the Toads and all the other characters in the first player. Oh well. Time for the gameplay. So the first thing you might notice when you go onto the, well, map, or the overworld map, is that you have a life counter. This is your life counter. You start with five lives, or everybody starts with five lives. Uh, then you're in the first world, as indicated right here, and then this is the first level you usually go to, and this is your star coin counter 
with star coins in this game, you used to buy toad houses, which gives you items. And if you press A, you can view the map to see what's up. Or what's on the map. And if you press plus on your remote, you will see the menu, how many scar how many star coins you have. Of course, I don't have any star coins. And you can add or drop players. We don't have any players, so we won't worry about that. And then quick save is it if you want to save the game. And then title screen is just to go back to the title screen. If you press minus, you will see the select a world uh, menu. But world one is the only menu we have, so we don't really have a choice to go to other worlds, unfortunately. And then if you press one, you get items, but we don't have any items. And then you just press left, right, up, or down to move on the map. And then if you press two, if you're on a blue space like this one, or if you're on a red space like this one, red spaces mean you've never been there before, and blue spaces mean you've been there before. And so if you press two on either, well, any of these that have blue or red on them, you can press two and then you'll go to the level, which we will do right now. Okay, so how do you play simple? You move left and right to go left and right. You hold 1 to run. You press 2 to jump. And in order to destroy enemies in this game, you have to jump on them. Some enemies some enemies require you to use other tactics. And the cool thing about this game, Mario game is is if you hold down while on a slope, you can actually slide on it. But that's only when you're running. So like you can kind of slide. And then when you see plat pipes like this, you can press down and you'll go inside it. Some pipes, however, um, won't let you go inside them because they have nothing in them. Some pipes have piranha plants, some have uh, secrets, just see what you can find. Oh man, I missed that block. I mean coin. And if you press, and if you press plus, uh, you'll pause the game. You have two options. You can either continue or exit the course. And uh, right here is your life counter, right here is the amount of coins you have, right here is your uh, star coin count. Right here is how many points you have, and right here is the timer. It's very, if not kind of difficult to see, since we're looking at a sideways perspective of the TV. But the, once you play the actual game, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. And so, if you see a Koopa Troopa, and you, if you want to hold its shell, when it's like this, all you have to do is hold run. I mean, one? No, sorry, not run. So, if you hold one while seeing the Koopa shell, or not seeing, if you interact with it, you can actually hold it. And like most Mario games, um, bricks can actually give you either nothing or they can give you items. Again, see what you can find. And so in this game, you have a thing called a ch checkpoint, which uh, I think we all know what checkpoints are by now. They basically save your progress if you die. And in this game, you also have new power-ups. In this case, it's the propeller mushroom, which if you hit the Wii remote, Mario spins into the air. Wee! Oh. 
And then he'll kind of glide when he starts to descend down. By the way, if you collect 100 coins, you'll receive an extra life. Like New Super Mario Bros. Wii U and New Super Mario Bros. on the DS and the original Super Mario Bros. What you have to do to end a level is get to the platform. And how you do that is you jump as high as you can onto the flagpole. The higher you go, the more rewarding it is. And with the propeller mushroom, you can simply press 2, shake the Wii remote, and we got a 1-up! So, once you've completed a level, the red dot will turn blue. And now you can move on to the next level. So the first thing you might notice when you go inside the pipe of world 1-2 is that there's a question mark in which there is an ice flower in it. Pick it up and you'll and Mario will turn into Ice Mario. Or you'll or aka will have the ice flower power up. And so what the ice flower does it instead of the fire flower uh, burning enemies to death, you freeze them to death. So you can pick them up by holding one and shaking the remote and then you can pick them up and do whatever you want with them. Like I just did this Koopa Troopa. Also, if you want to ground pound, uh, you just jump and hold down and Mario will ground pound. In some obstacles in this game, uh, they require you to use a Wii Remote, like this one. And so what I want to do is tilt the Wii Remote, jump inside this pipe, and... Hey, secret room! Yay for secrets! Some blocks in this game contain a star. Pick it up and you'll be invincible. But only for a short amount of time. So use it wisely. So in some levels of the game, you'll receive Yoshi. Just hop on its back and you can pretty much ride Yoshi. And how you hover in the air with Yoshi is your hold 2. Or your hold the 2 button. Yoshi can actually jump on piranha plants with no problem. Ooh, a secret. If Yoshi eats fire, he will actually... You can actually spit out fire instead of whatever you're holding in your mouth. And if Yoshi um, gets hit, he will actually dismount from you and actually running away. So what you want to do is try to get him back. And so again, if you catch a fireball, you can just spit it back out. And that's all I got to say in this video, folks. See you next time.